I cut these hoes off, I call that a caprice I pull up to old time, bad spin bands Been blending so much, I got crumbs in my hands As real as it gets, but these lashes are fake I love their products, but I'm never too Hello, we're back with another tutorial I'm doing this in voiceover mode Because Yeah, my videos be too long So I'm just taking this brow pencil I'm not sure what the brand is I'm just using that to outline The holes of the skull's face You know, you know how that goes I don't have a white thing So white pencil and my base was already done so you know just save some extra time in the video and it's easier if you have a reference photo up so just keep a reference photo by you which is why you see my laptop screen in the background you know i gotta make sure i look scullified that was so ugly i'll never say that again but yeah i'm just outlining the um portions of my eye and face so And now I'm just, um, you know, taking the pencil again and carving out where my cheekbone would be as a skeleton or just in general. And I just follow where my natural cheekbone was. And um, I found like an easy part to find like where the part, where my jawline would go down. So I just kind of played with underneath my cheekbone to find the start. And I used that as a guide to help, um, you know, sketch that out. It was, this was pretty fun though. This, this was, it was different, so. And I also curved the line, because our, your, um, from your cheekbone down to your teeth, it's a, like, a curved, like, line. So, and I brought it into my mouth, so. And now we're gonna start sketching in the teeth. Um, just the lines of the teeth. I started with a line in the middle of both my lips as the base or like guidelines to continue the rest. And I did like, I did straight lines going throughout the mouth. As you can see, I just kept it straight. And um, you'll see later in the video, as I start to add detail into the teeth, I start to take the lines and curve them a little bit. So it has a more tooth-like effect. Um, I think I'm doing that right now. Gosh, I have to stop like covering what I'm doing with the mirror, but I'm blind without glasses, so you know I can't see. But Ooh. And what I liked about the pencil was that I was able to go in and like fix little errors or mistakes that I saw that I did in the look. So it's way easier. But if you have a white like eyeliner pencil or any type of white pencil cosmetics item, I recommend that because I've seen a lot of people do that. And it's 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 pretty easier to erase um, or fix lines or guidelines that you made on to the next part so now i'm dipping into my beige cosmetics contour and blush 2 palette and we're doing again like the last video to going right into that white shade and we're gonna pounce that all over my face like the that's not that's outside of the lines you know like not in the lines but outside because you're just trying to get the skeleton the skull part down you know and um I did after this, I went in with a brush. Um, wait, was it after this? I'm not sure. Some some point in time in this video, I have off camera, I went into the with a um, powder brush from e.l.f. and I like, but like pack it on, and then I would go in and blend. It was a little, a little more easier for me to get the color payoff that I needed, so. And now I'm dipping into the gray and black shades of my e.l.f. matte for matte eyeshadow palette, and I'm just gonna use that to like bronze or contour or whatever, you know, add some depth, add some dimension. Can't be a flat skeleton. Oh my God, a flat skull, you know. Yeah. 
So I ended up deciding to use my e.l.f. blending brush to get a more precise application of where I wanted to add the shadows and depth and dimension because it was much more easier. The fluffy brush, it couldn't really get into the um, eyeshadow pans because they're like small rectangles. So this is a more better approach than a fluffy brush unless you have like a big circular or square or whatever um, sized eyeshadow pan or something like that, you know. This made my life much, much more easier. I'm just going in to add where the brush didn't really get in, which is almost everywhere. <laughs> um, and now I'm going into the Kat Von D Shape Light Palette, and I'm using the two dark shades. I ended up using all three of the dark shades, just mixing around, and I'm using that to, um, you know, add a bit more shadows into the mix, you know. you want I want a nice, like, blend and then I wanted to look kind of like old so I just use those to go like a more I don't know I just know it gave it more more dimension more pop it was just like boom bitch like hello you know and I'm just blending that around my eyes like underneath the eyes and parts of the B shadows and now I'm taking my elf duo eyeshadow from the day and night smoky set that i ordered and just this big um i use it to blend my eyeshadows this big brush and i'm just sweeping and blending the black into my into the the the, the skull eye holes or whatever oh so i forgot i ended up going like three different black eyeshadows like the nikki k eyeshadow i used uh, so many different eyeshadows and I ended up having like packing, I used my fingers, it was crazy. And then I added more black tones into the cheek area. And now I'm taking the Nika, I mean, mm, the BH Cosmetics palette again. I'm dipping into the white shade and I'm start packing in the white into the teeth area for the teeth. I kind of wish I went like. I kind of wish I kind of wish I added more teeth or like made them smaller. So like I have like a bigger row of teeth, but whatever. Now I'm taking the Ruby Kisses Cosmetics Forever Matte Liquid Lip in the shade It's You. And I'm just using that to in the middle. Blah, blah, blah. I can't speak fucking English. In the center of my mouth, and I'm it. I had to blend it a little bit and like keep reapplying the white. Um, to get the nice balance between the white and the black. And like I said in the last video, it's not a, it's not the worst lipstick. Like, it's pretty good or whatever, but I need a better one. And now I'm taking the black eyeshadow from, I'm not sure, I forgot, I couldn't see. And I'm using that and just smearing it, well, packing it on, blending it onto the liquid lipstick and into the white. So it's, un, like I said, a nice blend going on. And like, you see, I, like I said, I had to go back in with the white and, you know, touch up the teeth. Um, did I, oh, and I, oh, I almost forgot. I took the Kat Von D tattoo liner in the shade Trooper and I outlined the eye area. Wait, wait a minute. I think I'm moving too fast. I am. So here we go. I took the Kat Von D <laughs> Trooper liner and I started to outline the lines that I drew in the beginning and just to add more of a definition into the teeth area. I was moving way too fast, girl. I'm already ahead of the game. We didn't even get there yet and I'm already there. And I also used it to um, outline the the cheekbone area, the eyes, and um, the nose. And as you can see here, now I'm just taking the gray and black shades from the Matte for Matte palette, and I'm blending that into the cheek area where the hole is, like to add more dimension. Oh my God, you know what, let's play a game. Take a shot for every time I say the word dimension in this video, because I feel like I'm gonna say it even more. And now I'm taking the trooper liner again, and I'm drawing tattoos. Now I'm just drawing two little teardrops, you know, just, I guess, I, it, it gave it like a rough, like, I don't know. Those are the two tattoos I thought of immediately as soon as I was doing this idea. Ooh. 
<laughs> my throat. <laughs> I'm dying. Okay. <clears throat> and um, off camera, I wrote the word dead on my whatever you want to call that. So I took um, like I wanted to draw a six six six. That was the first. That was actually the first that y'all thought of when I was thinking of this idea. And I to help you just flip the Im like flip an image because you want to write the words on your face backwards so that's what i'm doing here that's the easy way just remember to write them backwards or flipped mirrored you know because if you do it the regular way it'll look backwards to anybody looking at you or in a mirror and now i'm taking my handy dandy nicole guerrero anastasia beverly hills glow kit and i'm using the shade forever lit for a more iridescent type of glow because i'm a skull you know i gotta be popping and for an extra extra glow i took the mac pigment in the shade kishmas and i'm using that just to add a little more pop a little more iridescence out of my glass tone so i couldn't see you know and this is the final look i hope you enjoyed this video um subscribe if you want to if you recreate it tag me all that good stuff um and be on the lookout for more tutorials xoxo